guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to discuss about the very common questions around students who are trying to apply for their further studies in US specifically so that question is should I apply before or should I first email professors um, prior to the applying process so we are going to discuss about that the thing is it's like um, two different paths to a same village it's like both will get you to the goal but they have its own pros and cons pros and cons and everyone who goes through that path has their own perception about it so i'll give you mine today and let's dive into the first path which is emailing first so i went through this path uh, that is i emailed first to the professors and then applied to the universities so we will discuss about some good and bad points of each of them so let's talk about like good things about emailing first okay so the first point is you will secure a funding um, so when you go through this path you don't have to wait for the university but when you get the professor you get the funding so you secure it you don't have to depend on the university for funding and the second point is you don't have to apply before the priority deadline so if you apply first you have a certain deadline if you want the funding or assistance or any kind of scholarship or fellowship so you have to apply before that deadline if you want that uh, if you want to be considered actually not uh, it's not like fixed but you will be considered for the scholarship if you apply before that deadline so that gives you less time for preparation for the application and all um, so if you email first you don't have to apply before the deadline um, you can apply after the deadline also so it means if you have the professor the, the for the deadline for you is the like general deadline for international students so you have more time to prepare your sop to get the yellow hours from teachers and all that so that's the second point and third point is that when you um like have a professor who agreed to fund you you don't have to apply to multiple universities and go through the process again and again like it's a pain to request LOR uh, multiple times and that that was like one of the <laughs> hectic thing I had to do but yeah you have to do that and um, so if you uh, have a professor you only have to apply like one or two universities to maximum so you don't have to request um, again and again to for the LORs so that's another good thing about it and the last best thing is that when you have a professor the admission is like more like fixed on your part because um, you have funding and having funding is the most important part in the admission and then after um, comes the SOP, LOR and all that but those things are not like unnecessary after you get a funding but still you um, you are like prioritized or even if, if you have like a general SOP or LOR you are get considered for acceptance um, so the admission is like fixed if you have a professor but that doesn't mean you don't um, you don't prepare your SOP nicely you should do that you should put your full effort effort on the application too but the, but it's just that um, 
it's like uh, your probability gets higher okay so the difficulties of um, this path is that you have to be really really patient because it's not like you email to like 50 or 100 professors and you you will be like oh no i have emailed so many professors already and i'm not getting response i'm done with this process now you can't be like that if you if you want to go th through this path you have to be mentally prepared to be patient because yeah it takes time um so be prepared for that and you have to be consistent because uh, you see like uh, for example my husband got um like professor on his first meeting to the uh, with the professor but in my case uh, i had to go through like four or five different interviews um and after each interview you are like okay maybe i'll get this position and you are like on the like 75 percent um, of the process and once the professor rejects you you are like again on the zero and starting again kind of thing so it's like a circle until you get on the top and that's that's why you have to be patient and you have to be consistent um it's it's very usual or it's very common to feel like i'm not capable enough after you get rejected but just trust yourself and trust the process and even even it takes time or you have to go through multiple interviews or multiple processes just remember that it's it's uh, leading you to something better because um, i almost got uh, like into an university earlier before this one but later it uh, didn't work like it i was almost at like 95 percent and then i have to come at zero again so i was frustrated i i cried a lot but didn't give up so get yourself together and do it again and then i got in this position which is like which is like better paying and better uh, in the program i'm uh, now studying so everything happens for a reason and give your time so that that was the pros and cons of uh, emailing first if i miss anything i think um, somebody can add or maybe you can let me know in the comment section um, i can answer that so now another path which is applying first before <clears throat> emailing so let's talk about the good part of that um, there is only one good part i could remember uh, when i was writing so the good part is you don't have to wait for the professor to apply like in the earlier path uh, emailing first one you have to get the permission or acceptance of the professor that he is uh, ready to fund you you don't have to ready uh, you don't have to wait for that um, to apply to the university you can just apply so that was the good part you don't have to go through the mess and the cons are like you have to apply to multiple universities to make sure you get the acceptance or you get the funding uh, because more universities you apply to more chances uh, will be there like more probability you will get accepted in one of them or multiple one multiples or in many of them so yeah you have to apply in multiple universities so that comes with another con which is um, it costs a certain amount uh, of money to apply to the university and some cost more some cost less uh, less um, but it comes with uh, some amount of financial uh, aspect so that cost more money uh, in in comparison to applying to one or two universities you are applying to um, 
multiple universities so you will have to pay more and that was second another one is um, if you are applying first you have to apply before the priority deadline i mentioned earlier um, because uh, if you want to get considered for the funding you have to apply before that so you will have less time to you you have to apply to multiple universities and you have less time to get ready all the things so you have to have multiple sops multiple LORs uh, and you have to request each time to the teachers uh, to upload the LOR so it's kind of hectic that's why I didn't want to go through this and um, uh, yes you, uh, another thing is uh, you need multiple LORs and um, and the last one the last difficulty is like some universities even if you want to apply first they or departments um, universities or the departments they suggest you to email or fix the professor first so you know uh, the path two recommends you to go to the path one so that's the difficulties um so i just saw like i talked about pros and cons of both of them i can't tell you you should do this it's it's more like what you want to do or what difficulties you want to face uh, they both have their own pros and cons and i have seen people who like it's me who it's me and there are others who have emailed first and came here there are my other friends who have applied and then got applic uh, got accepted directly or the funding directly and um, there are another type of students who apply first and then email professors so you see they they do both of them they apply before the deadline and uh, after the acceptance or after applying to the university they email each professor or the professor they want to work with like i have already applied to this university um, i want to work with you um, and all that so that is also good um, suggestions or i think if you want to take something from this video you can um, do that actually um, because i won't tell you like you just have to wait until you get the professor's uh, permission you can just apply to some university and then email professor um, and say like tell them that you have already applied and if you got your acceptance you have already got acceptance and all that and even like if you don't get the funding in that semester but you got the acceptance you can i i think i'm not sure you can email to graduate coordinator or um, some higher uh, like there are people who can help you uh, you can email them but i think if you get accepted and do not have funding you can defer your acceptance and uh, wait for the funding or like eventually you will have to email professor um, that's the case and um, yeah so it's like very confusing but you do what you want to do so i would say like for example if you are starting and um, emailing the right time to start is like if you want to start in fall you should start emailing or like previous fall like if you want to join the semester in august you have to um, start emailing professors in the uh, like previous year august so there is like a one year gap in between and i suggest start at that point start emailing professor start your gre start your ilts process and all that and do the email and see the response how is it if you get any interview or position that's very good you already have the professor if uh, you are not getting enough response or such thing you apply to the university um, just get everything and apply to some universities um, if you don't want to apply to many universities just apply to some um, and LSU has, I think, um, 
LSU gives funding to most students like teaching assistants, research assistants, if I've seen many and uh, you can apply to universities like ours um, just be careful like uh, see your academics and fix the university i don't know much thing about that but yeah you can do that and then email and then wait for while you wait for the admission or uh, acceptance you can again email professors so eventually you have to email um yeah, you can get the funding without email too, but it's very risky. I, I wouldn't suggest it. I have only seen people who did this were like very, very like extraordinary talented. They were like, no, I don't want to email professor. I will just apply to some universities. <laughs> I think they are crazy, but yeah, they that works for them. But most of us are like ordinary average kind of students so we have to do the hard part so i suggest you to email email as many professor as you can because it's about the right time and finding the right professor um, not always about the hard work but also about the luck because you have to be there when the professor is searching for the student so i suggest reach out to as many as you can that will increase your chances and that's it i guess i hope you got the answer uh, i know i didn't uh, exactly answer your question but this uh, video is not for that it's just for showing you the like pros and cons and only you can decide what you want to do so i hope this helps somehow Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.